This presentation speaks to types of red wine and types of white wine. Other than water, tea, and beer, white and all types of red wine are the fourth most popular drink known to man. It is an alcoholic beverage, usually made from fermented grape juice. Grapes have enough fructose that the addition of other sugar is not required. Yeast is used to convert the sugar found in grapes and converts them into alcohol. Different varieties of grapes and yeast are used which dictate which type of wine is being made. If the skin, seeds and pulp are used, types of red wine are made. If the liquid or only liquid is used, only a white wine is made. If other fruit other than grapes are used, they are generally classified as fruit wines, such as apple wine, peach wine, etc. If vegetables rather than fruit is used, the wine more resembles beer or spirit, such as barley wine or rice wine, known as sake. A fortified wine is one that has a spirit, such as brandy, added to the wine, which increases the alcohol by volume content. Wine is thought to have originated at approximately 6000 BC around Georgia and Iran and appear in Europe around 4500 BC. Wine can be made from one or more species of grape which defines the difference between the varied types of wine such as Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. If one of the varieties is the predominant grape minimum of 75%, it is known as a varietal. However, if the grapes are a true equal blend, it is known as a blended wine. Blended wines are not considered inferior to varietal wines. In fact, some of the best wines originate from the Bordeaux region as well as the Rhone Valley. Regulations cover the classification sale of wine in many regions of the world. European wines tend to be classified by region, while non-European wines are most often classified by grape. More and more, however, market recognition of particular regions is leading to their increased prominence in, in non-European wine labels. Wines made from grapes that were grown in a particular year and labeled as such are known as vintage types of red wine. However, many countries allow a vintage wine to include a portion that is not from the specified vintage. High quality red table wines can improve in flavor if properly stored. Consequently, it is not uncommon for enthusiasts and traders to save bottles of an especially good vintage for future consumption. Color is step number one in the tasting of a wine. Wine tasting is a very personal experience because wines are comprised of chemical compounds which are based on the chemical compounds of fruits, vegetables, and spices. The sweetness of wine is determined by the amount of residual sugar in the wine after fermentation relative to the acidity presented in the wine. Dry wine, for example, has only a small amount of residual sugar. Wine aroma comes from volatile compounds in the wine that are released into the air. Vaporization of these compounds can be sped up by twirling the wine glass or serving the wine at room temperature. Some wine labels suggest opening the bottle and letting the wine breathe for a couple of hours before serving, while others recommend drinking it immediately. Decanting, the act of pouring a wine into a special container just for breathing, is a controversial subject in wine. In addition to aeration, decanting with a filter allows one to remove bitter sediments that may have formed in the wine. Sediment is more common in older bottles, but younger wines usually benefit from more aeration. If at all possible, wine should be stored in wine cellars or above ground wine rooms where temperature and humidity can be controlled. If exposed to heat, light or changes in temperature and humidity, wine indeed can spoil. 
The ideal temperature for aging is thought to be 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you.